Hi, we're going to talk for a few minutes about your Team Bloomberg assignment. In this case, you will go again to resourcecenter.businessweek.com. Like you did for your individual research paper, you will select an article, only this time it needs to be an article that your entire team selects and finds interesting. So once again, you will see the disciplines and topics. Let's say that you're in a team with biology majors, but you all are double majoring biology business and you are interested in entrepreneurship. So you decide, ah, let's look at entrepreneurship. You select that. And as you are looking at your options, you think, hmm, this needs some shut eye, try a spritz of melatonin appeals to both areas. Because if we're going to own a business and we're biology majors, maybe we'll do something <laughs> with chemicals, with hormones. We find this fascinating. So we click on that, we see an abstract, we just see discussion questions and quiz questions. We read the abstract and we think, this is exactly what we want to pre present on. This is a fascinating topic. We're going to read the full article, so click on the full article, which is titled, Can't Sleep, Try a Spritz of Melatonin by Nick Lieber. We read through the article and we see a lot of interesting links that could help us create a better presentation. So we might explore further. Um, if we have three group members, one of them might look at sprayable and the, the website itself. Another might look at the topical caffeine spray that sprayable has. And another might look at this crowdfunding campaign. You might even read some other things. This will inform your conversation and give you a lot to talk about. Now, after you've read the article and kind of looked at these other, uh, these other links, you'll go back to your reading, uh, the, this reading page, and you'll go through the discussion questions because this will also help elevate your discussion from just a summary to something that is pointed and interesting and passionate and that tells us more about what you'll be able to do in the future and what you need to think about if you're going to go into business and, and uh, administer hormones. So potential illicit uses are really interesting. What if someone could actually overdose on their caffeine spray? Um, these, are, these are questions people want to think about. So you'll read through everything, you'll have some notes, you'll start to create a PowerPoint presentation, and that's what I want everyone to do, PowerPoint. Please don't do a Prezi. And you'll put your title of your article on the first page with your author, and then you'll include the names of your group members and in this case I decided everyone's name would start with A and then their last name would be Curry pronounced a variety of different ways <laughs> because I'm goofy and I do that sometimes. In order to estimate how long your presentation is supposed to be I'm going to give you this rule. Your presentation is one minute per person. So if you have five people in your group, then you have a five minute presentation. If you have three people, you have a three minute presentation. Now I will give you an additional minute just in case someone speaks particularly slow. And I'll give you a, a minus a minute in case someone speaks particularly fast. But if you go above or beyond, uh, you know, uh, above or below by more than a minute, you'll lose a letter grade on your entire presentation. So be careful. Each person needs approximately one slide, so one minute per person, one slide per person. So you will have, uh, in this case, if you have three people, you might uh, just have three slides, so a cover slide, three people, and then you will probably have a question slide at the end. And make sure that you cover the points that have been addressed. Tell us about the article, tell us why it's interesting, tell us the repercussions and, and the ramifications, and that should make a great presentation. Don't forget though, you need to practice because you can stand up all day and tell other people what you're going to tell them in a group, but when you stand up in front of the class and you have your PowerPoint behind you, it's obvious when you haven't practiced. And if you're reading the PowerPoint, there's a real problem. So be prepared to stand in front of the class without looking at the PowerPoint and without looking down at your notes and tell us for a minute what you want to tell us. Thank you.